Hello, hello! Welcome to this dreary floor today. This Buongiorno. is CJ's Buongiorno. first cooking show. I am CJ. It right is. over here is Nate. I am. <laughs> it wasn't me! It was me! Today's a fun one. It's a dreary, fun day. And you know what? It actually is a little perfect. cool. It's cool out. It is cool, which is nice. Uh, perfect day to make some delicious chicken and cheese enchiladas okay on the blackstone okay so why don't we go ahead and get to this it'll be quick it'll be fun it'll be spicy spicy is it one enchilada two enchilada the whole enchilada <laughs> Now, I grew up in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and you can do red or you can do green. I love green, and I also happen to love, never remember that. White! Today we're gonna be using some La Victoria red enchilada sauce. Now again, there's, to me, honestly, there's no bad enchilada sauce because I love enchilada sauce. But, in this occasion, ooh, that's getting toasty. Warm. I've got my little saucepan over here. I've had my Blackstone preheating on low, and we're gonna warm up this delicious, that's probably overkill. We're gonna let this um, take some time to warm up. It doesn't need to cook, it just needs to heat up, uh, making our cooking process that much quicker. Now, I don't think that this is, um, this is not a typical thing that is done with onions, because if my mom was here and she was cooking onion, or cooking enchiladas with me, she would want white onion on her enchilada, which is fine, but she doesn't want it cooked. She likes fresh, oh, raw, bite. white onion inside of her enchiladas. Now, I just, I don't, I, I just don't like um, raw onion on any level, whether it's white, whether it's yellow, whether it's red. What about red. salsa? You don't want red in your, your pico? Okay, now, you know what? I stand correct. Most important part of this is to remember, <laughs> caramelized onions are better than raw onions oh. when you're making enchiladas, unless you're my mother, because my mother can do no wrong. She is wonderful and amazing, and this, or that is how she likes her enchiladas to be cooked, and that's Shouldn't fine. disagree with mother. You would be wise to do as mother says, Lady Meyer. You know what? I don't know if I've ever actually seen the whole thing, the entire movie. Now you haven't seen the it. whole enchilada. I'm gonna keep trying. Just give me a second. Well, look, I'll find when it works. Just we'll keep on trying then because it has not worked yet. <laughs> now, let me just reiterate: caramelized onions are the way to go. And we've got some kosher salt, some coarse black pepper, and that leads us right into our second main ingredient of our enchiladas, and that is chicken cutlets, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yo. These are always a champion when, for me personally, because. Uh, number one, they cook really fast, and I... Yeah, you're the cutlet king. Okay, I will I will not deny... I'm swinging, I'm swinging for one-liners today. You're... I'm gonna make whole enchilada work at some point. Um, Believe you me there, guy. I don't I don't know that you, that you are, but I appreciate the effort. Thanks. Chicken cutlets are super amazing. I don't, I don't know why, but for whatever reason, in chicken enchiladas, um, Using chicken thighs just doesn't sound right to me. Oh, with a fatty chicken thigh? I, but I love chicken thighs, dude. Point being, we're gonna be using these guys right here. Chicken cutlets. We are, dude, we're cruising, man. We got a lot happening already. We got sauce, we got onions, we got chicken. Our pets' heads are falling off! I knew you were And going. we are gonna ring the bell because it's time. Ladies and gentlemen, if this is your first time watching the show, when the bell rings, grab something to sip on and drink up. Now while our cutlets are cooking, it is time to get, I say it's a main ingredient, dude. It's just really simple with enchiladas, but the couple, in fact, I I often have enchiladas that are just cheese enchiladas. Just cheese, tortilla, enchilada sauce? Yeah, um, whether it be green or red, it doesn't matter, but just, dude, I just love cheese enchiladas. It's, it's kind of a guilty pleasure. It's almost like- um, Really, just cheese tortilla? Yeah, cheese tortilla, and then your sauces. That's it's, not even, that's, that's like half an enchilada. No, it's, it's not. It's not a whole enchilada. Oh my gosh. Is it there yet? No. Okay, I'm gonna keep working. Okay, now our cheese is done. We're cruising. Cruising for a bruising, as my father would say. I don't know why he said that, but. Because it's true. Here in just a minute, I am gonna pull that off, cut it up, and glaze it. Or I might just glaze it 
as is and then cut it up. How are you glazing? With enchilada sauce. Oh. Mm -hmm. With because half enchilada sauce? Or is it? The okay. whole enchilada! <laughs> it's shake it off. Wow, you just made a <laughs> foo of yourself. A he's, foo! He's that was fire. worse. <laughs> Do you know who David Letterman's favorite band is? Um, the Foo Fighters? Um, yeah, it's the Foo Fighters. Okay. See, he had like a quintuple bypass surgery, and while he was recovering for it, he listened to a whole bunch of the Foo Fighters, and it became his favorite band. So when he came back after the surgery, he said he wanted Foo Fighters to be the band, and right before they came out, he gave this sentimental thing. It's really sweet and short, and he said, here's the Foo Fighters, my favorite band, playing my favorite song, which was Everlong. Ladies and gentlemen, my favorite band playing my favorite song, Foo Fighters. Bro, I didn't know that. Did you start playing Foo Fighters on purpose? No, it was my pocket. And you happen to be wearing the shirt? Uh, well, yeah. Seems questionable to me. <laughs> it looks questionable to me. I will, I will bring it around. No, I did not see that I coming. Will bring that one. Now, as you guys just saw, I cut off the top of romaine lettuce. You could use iceberg if you want. I personally have learned to just really love the texture, the crunch mm -hmm. of romaine. Now, in Texture's one occasion, here. Uh, do th this, I, I bypass my thought on this in one situation specifically, and that is when I decide to go to Olive Garden for dinner, what? the salad Don't. does not have romaine in the salad. And for me it personally, have... it just it has iceberg lettuce and iceberg is delicious and iceberg is not deli it's nothing let me know in the comments below who likes olive garden salad and breadsticks I know and unlimited like soup unlimited soup and breadsticks oh no and it's salad. not i went one time there were five of us at the table they brought breadsticks breadsticks out uh -huh. i said i wasn't gonna have anything they only brought four breadsticks oh my gosh they didn't even bring me a breadstick they, they got cheap on the you, breadsticks you know what i ate what a sugar packet or two <laughs> I'll just have a sugar packet or two. Let's let's come back in two and two. Okay. Uh, our chicken will be done. Probably in that time, I'll pull it off. Onions, um, I'll done. cut it up. I'm gonna glaze it, and then it's gonna be ready to build. Boom. Man, I love Boom. simple recipes like this. Yeah. We're back, we're back, we're back. Check out this glazing going on. This is what I wanna see it thickened up. We're gonna have plenty of loose sauce here in just a second. But this glazing on the chicken is where it is at. And while I'm here, you know what? Here's what oh, we're gonna okay. do. I like this. We're gonna move. bring this in here. It's a glazing. It's you failed. All right, so I'm gonna move this off of the heat now, right up towards you, Ethan. Let's come back over here and let me talk to you about how I'm gonna build this. I've got this awesome little cast iron plate. Iron Maiden. Excellent. I went to my local. It's like this little Mexican. Uh, grocery store and they make fresh on the daily corn tortillas dude these things are so money they're pliable they're, they're delicious they're way better Wait, than the stuff that flour? they are corn like it's this wonderful mixture of both I I'm telling you dude I think both. both I think both so let's start our building process I'm not sure how many I'm gonna get here three or four but I've got four here Quattro. Um, wow, you're, you're going uh, bilingual, are you? Oh, yo. This. Well, <laughs> the cheese, dude. All right, let's so get we're our... just onions and chicken at this point. Onions, chicken, then we're gonna do some cheese. Also known as queso. Dude, would you cut it out? You know I don't speak Spanish. You know I don't speak Spanish. In English, please. I've got some hatch chili and cheddar. This Blackstone seasoning is awesome. You could do this to the chicken as it cooks, or you could just come in here and give that a nice it's dust. A mid dust. This is This is a nice mid. A mid dust. dust, I must. Is that? Yeah, it's definitely something. <laughs> something. <laughs> and look at that, dude. We've got three right here. This dude, is gonna, this gonna be awesome. Now I'm going to put a little bit more cheese. Oh come on. This is where it's gonna be. Oh. Come on. Yeah, buddy. Now we get to set this bad boy down. Oh, ay dios mío. Ay dios mío. 
okay, you're on a roll. Thanks. I'm gonna I'm gonna honor it at this point. Okay. And um, you know what? Oh. Oh. Oh, it'll do. We do have a bigger one, but it's down there and it's dirty, and I'm, we're just gonna go with it. Okay. So I'm gonna add some water for some steam. I'm gonna say let's give that five minutes to heat up and to melt the cheese. Boom, we're on our way. What do you think? Sound five good? minutes. Be back in five. Ay, el mundo es loco. I've already had, I already had a little sneak peek. Mm. Ethan, by all means, please observe that oh. which we do not speak of. Boom. 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 <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. Oh my god. Now, before my lettuce and tomato, which I would normally do this at the very end, I figured why not do a little post dusting with some of this hatch chili and cheddar? It is, it is a must. It is a must. We're going to dust just like so. Do we should get a t shirt that on there? Yeah. We'll just give that a little, little topper right there. Dude, I cannot wait. That's not just one enchilada. It's the whole enchilada. Sometimes you've just had enough and you can't take any more. Where did you... Did you just go to elementary or summer camp? Turn this darn bus right around. That'll end your precious little field trip. <laughs> oh, and then... I want to see what happens on the edges of that. Oh. All of this? Oh. oh. Is that Dude, all? do you see that steam? If it's connected, it counts It just as counts one as one jet. nacho. If you get the nachos stuck together, that's one nacho. Whoa. This actually really was a quick one. It was almost real time. La Victoria, mm. that red sauce. My gosh, dude, that is so good. Funny. I, discrima. Oh. That's good, right? Mm -hmm. Um, Let me know in the comments below. How do you like your enchiladas? Are you a cheese? Are you cheese and chicken? Are you chicken only? Do you like red? Do you like green? In Colorado, I don't abide by this. Yeah, well, the dude abides. They say, do you want it Christmas style? Oh no, that's Which is not. red and green. Unless it's Lloyd Christmas style. Exactly. Cause Harry, <laughs> you're freezing. Speaking of freezing, <laughs> it is now that time for CJ's comments of the week. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for CJ's favorite comments of the week. Here we are. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this segment of the show where I screenshot comments from you, the viewers. If you guys write it, Ooh, we read it. This is exactly how I, how I spend my word. nights, literally word for word. All right, here we go. This one Start comes one. <laughs> in uh, from, let's see, oh wait. Uh, yeah, this is Felix. Chab. Felix Chab. I'm just gonna call you Felix. Hey Felix. I had a friend of mine in second grade. His name was Felix. I haven't really? met another one since. Yep. Wow. Maybe you're him. <gasps> did you go to Marion Binford and live in Albuquerque? And... He did. Okay. Here we go, Felix. Here we go, buddy. Finally, a show that I can relate to. Sorry, I thought it was an LOL. Finally, a show I can <laughs> relate to. I picked up a Blackstone a week ago, and I was looking up recipes. I came across your show, and now I am hooked. Right on. Keep up the great content, and ring that bell. Mon frere Felix can do. Felix the Fantastic. There we go. Glad you found us, buddy. Glad that our paths have crossed. Again. Since second grade. Okay, this one comes in from David Pruitt. Hey, David. David says, bro. Do it to it, David Pruitt. You need a new cooking class for that mess looks nasty. I don't like your comment, David Brewitt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pour one out for my homie. David. Oh, this one comes in from uh, Johannes Bowles. I think that's how I'm saying it correctly. Or, uh, it might be Johannes, honestly. The J's, it's soft J, oh. like yogging. I believe it's jogging or yogging. It might be a soft J. I want to see the food, not your face. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Ouch. Jeez. Nope. Hang on, I'll help. Can we, okay. Oh, wait. 911, can I get some ice for that burn? Oh, uh, uh, hold on, hold on. 911, can I get a napkin for Ethan's face that had <laughs> cheese on the tip of his mouth? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, kitten. There you go. There you go. Fuck. Got we can't oh, make good. this up. Dude, that was a burn. good burn up until the point. Oh, don't. If only he didn't have a queso face. Jeez. Um. <clears throat> Moving on. All right, this comes in from Kevin uh, Mil Milliard. Milliard. Milliwake. I'm Which not so Algonquin, Algonquin for the good land. I was not aware of that. My new most favorite cooking show. Ring that bell! Oh, yeah. All oh, right. Mid comment. Oh, Thank wait, you, Kevbot. Comment? My man. What? That's the only thing to say. I thought there was more to the comment. No, no, was that was it. Point. Literally, my man, new favorite show. Words. Very few words. Thank but you, Kevin. They were good words. Like the good land. All right. Uh, Richard Pryor. Uh, Fagala says. Fagala. That too. Here we go. Richard says, sorry, typically I love your recipes. Chef Nate. Oh, hey. All right. But I agree with CJ on this one. No. Nah, dude. No. Nah, dude. No. Nah, dude. Nah, dude. Was this on the oysters video? Oh, oh, no. I disagree yes. with delicious oysters. Just because you don't like it doesn't mean it's not good. And you should give it a try. <sighs> nah, dude. <laughs> Thanks guys so much for hanging out. This was a fun one. Those enchiladas crushed it. We freaking annihilated that plate of enchiladas. Mm. Went right through them. Uh, if you have a cast iron plate like that, use it. You get that skirt. It's you can do bubbly. it in uh, aluminum if you don't have a cast iron, right? Well, if you well, wanted to, but that's weird to do it with aluminum. Oh. Yeah, that would not be in New Mexico. I believe it's pronounced aluminium. I believe that it's pronounced unobtainable. <gasps> uh, worst part of the whole movie. It's, it's a not great movie. that bad. It's, a great it's not movie. that bad. It's, bad. it's not that it's bad. It's not bad. that bad. Be sure to go to blackstoneproducts.com <laughs> for this recipe and a ton of others. Be sure to check out Nate's show, Todd's show, Betty's show, Destination Delicious, Bruce on the Bayou. But my friends, this is CJ's first cooking show where we cook. And we quote. That is exactly what we do. Thanks so much for hanging out. We will see you guys on the next round. Keep it classy, San Diego. <laughs> Stay classy, San Diego. Together!